Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow region. Yes, I'm not in Moscow centre today. I'm out in the suburbs. We're pretty much about 50 kilometres from the centre of Moscow in a town called Aprilovka. Now I've got access to another house or an apartment that this is actually for sale. So we'll be able to see the price, we'll be able to take a walk around and check it out. So let's go have a look where we are first and then we're going to head on inside. Now if you have watched any of my previous apartment tour videos, this place may look familiar. It's now springtime though, so we've got blue skies and the sun coming down today. It's actually 19 Celsius here today, so it's nice and warm actually. But this park was in my other video, this is for the kids right here. So pretty much anyone that's in this building or the one behind me, they'll come and share this uh, apartment, uh, this park from this apartment. Now this is the building we're going to go and look at right here. Now we're going to actually go and have a look at the one in the top corner here. It's on the 13th level on the corner. Now the building is actually 14 floors, so almost the top. So we're going to head on inside and check it out. Now there is a lot of street parking here too, so if you were to sort of buy this place. Now you can use the video in two ways. You can use it just as a bit of a guide of what a Moscow typical apartment looks like, or maybe you want to buy it. Link will be in the description, of course. I get nothing out of this, by the way. I'm just doing this because it's in our building and I've been able to get easy access to it by giving them a call and asking for a, come a, uh, for a bit of a look around. Now there is actually another building right here, which is the replica building of the one that we're actually going to go look at. And this is the same uh, 14 level building. It was by the same developers as well. So yeah, plenty of parking uh, right outside the door. So you could literally, it depends on the time of day you come to. So you're going to find it's either full parking everywhere or like right now, this is early afternoon. There's a spot. This is one of the guys that looks after this uh, apartment building. He does the kind of the maintenance around the building and does the gardens, paints these fences. Uh, yeah, it's very nice. Now we will actually have a look afterwards at this lower ground floor here because there's plenty of little shops and places to go uh, right here, but we're gonna head up to the 13th level. All right, so we're gonna head on inside and a part of the video, we're gonna give the full tour. So steps to go in, or if you've got the kids pram or anything like that, you've got the ramp. This is nice and easy. Now, if this place had concierge, this would be the room where the concierge would be. It very echoes in here. And they've always got these double doors right here. So basically it keeps the cold and the heat in and out. And then you come into this corridor and these are all of the apartments, basically from the ground level up to the 14th level, all the letter boxes. And we're going to jump in the elevator. There's two elevators here as well. So there's one that's a freight elevator and one that's passenger elevator, but it doesn't really matter here. You just take whichever one comes and these guys are going to come right here. So we're going to jump in together and head on upstairs. All right. So we've made it up to the 13th level. Yes, this is on the 13th level. Again, let me know. Are you superstitious or what? And then we just got to come through this corridor and the apartment is right here in front of us. As usual in a lot of Russian apartments, kids bikes are always all over the place, but let's head on inside. Now there is quite a few different uh, locks to get inside here, but I've already got this opened ahead of time. And as is customary, when you come into any house in Russia, even if it's not your own, you take your shoes off. So, very nice, they've got a spot right here for shoes. Oops, right there. Actually, this is kind of neat as well. If we have a look around, you've got a spot for your keys. This is the actual electric box right here. And then if you're calling from downstairs, this is where you'd answer the phone to open the door for people from downstairs. Now, the first thing we're gonna see here when we come inside is all of this storage space. So this particular apartment is 70 square meters. And in Russia, they basically called a two room apartment, but actually it's one bedroom, but it's a very big one bedroom apartment, but I'm going to be in the video a few times here because there's lots of mirrors, but we'll have a good walk around here. Plenty of storage. So right here when you come in now, the people that are uh, 
having this apartment for sale are still here, so a lot of their stuff's still around. This one's where you put all your stuff, like your shoes and things, you know, just bits and bobs. Then over here, there's another cupboard. Now, I did actually kind of have a quick look around before I came in, just so I can get an idea of the place, but plenty of storage for clothes. And I'm pretty sure this is maybe like the Ikea racks right here. So that's very handy. And as is normal in Russia too, lots of mirrors. The ladies love the mirrors. And then again, one more cupboard here. So pretty much you can hide everything somewhere. And I'm pretty sure this is also the medicine shelf as well. Stuff for the gardening and bits of everything. But the idea though is you've got somewhere to put something and you can keep the place nice and tidy. Just spin around here, hope we're not getting too dizzy. Put your jackets right here, sit down to put on and off your shoes. And one more cupboard, this one is basically uh, another storage. So this particular uh, apartment here has a family that lives here and they basically converted the lounge room to the children's room. So, and I just noticed on the TV, traveling with Russell is up on the TV. Now, I wonder if that's by coincidence or not, but yeah, so there's some built-in cupboards again. And this being the children's room. So pretty normally in a lot of the lounge rooms in Moscow or in Russian apartments, the bed is kind of a sofa and then can convert out to a double or a queen size bed. So nice wallpaper on the wall here, but this is a very big room. This would easily be a nice lounge room. So you could put a nice big sofa in here Got the TV on the wall. And I'm pretty sure this is the bit that everybody wants to see, is this view from the window. We're gonna see this a couple of times, but we can see here out to the town. We can see the church off in the distance. But yeah, there's a few different windows facing different directions in here. So what do you think so far, everybody? This is a very big room, actually. This would be a nice lounge room. If my wife and I was to buy this place, you know, we'd have this as my, my den, I think I'd call this over here. And very nice wallpaper as well. More storage for clothes right there. We'll leave traveling with Russell behind. So yeah, nice big hallway coming into the other parts of the house. Now this apartment actually has two bathrooms. So very typically a lot of bigger apartments like this will have a main what I consider a family bathroom. And then they have a separate bathroom, which is mostly like a toilet, uh, kind of when visitors come. And I put the light on ahead of time here. So now this one actually is a little bit fancier because it has a full shower and it's got the sink right there. One of those sort of, you know, washing your hands, brushing your teeth kind of one. And then we'll just get right in here. And this is, some more storage and the washing machine. So yeah, this is pretty typical of this sort of size apartment where you'd actually have the washing machine in this kind of uh, second bathroom. Uh, they don't have laundries here in Russia like they have in other countries. And also there's no dryers. Somebody mentioned in one of the other videos, where's the dryer for the clothes? Pretty much you'd put them out on the balcony and it's not necessary. Let's have a look at this second bathroom right here. And this one, we just got to put the light switch on. Didn't do that ahead of time. This is a little bit larger. So you got second toilet, a nice big sink and mirror right there. And then check this out, kind of the jacuzzi, bath, hot tub, shower, everything all in one. It's very nice. And then these heated towel rails are pretty much a normal thing in a lot of apartments as well. And I think everybody in Russia has that step that you get from Ikea. And yeah, pretty normal kind of uh, bathroom, but nice and spacious in there. And the good thing is too, if you're a husband and wife, you can both shower at the same time if you wanted to, right? I mean, okay, it's separate bathrooms, but, and then this is what we consider the kind of the parents' bedroom. A uh, nice big bed as well. 
really love this ceiling too with the lights and uh, this sort of recessed kind of uh, lighting and things like that. Plenty of plugs too by the beds. So if you want to plug all your devices in and nice big TV on the wall too. And then this is the other view that I want to see because this is kind of looking out the other direction from the apartment here. Now, there was a whole lot of curtains here to get around, but you can actually see in the other direction from the apartment. And down here is some townhouses. And then you can see obviously some more apartments off in the distance. That green one just off there, that was where we used to live for a little while. We lived there for about a year, roughly. And then we moved to a different place. But yeah, very nice. Very nice wooden floors too. I didn't sort of mention them when I came in, but this uh, real wooden floors. And then there's, this is one of two balconies. So in this apartment, they're actually using it as a home office, which is very handy. So the kind of desk right there, and then they've got the blind down because depending on the time of day, the sun will come through this window here. And I'm pretty sure that whoever works here may have it as a, uh, Kind of a bar in the afternoons i wonder <laughs> it's kind of interesting but this is a closable balcony here um, so you can kind of close it off but very nice uh, little kind of work from home space so what they're calling them now work from home spaces but yeah plenty of room down this corridor here and then we're going to check out the kitchen around the corner so yeah, so the kitchen, basically you've got the table or dining room table. Now it'll depend on how big a table you want in here, but uh, this is kind of perfect for three. There'll be another fourth chair there, everyone can sit around. And have a look at this kitchen. This is actually really, really nice. This is a bespoke kitchen right here. This is not the one you get at the hardware stores at all, but very nice. Now this is one thing I'm gonna point out here because our apartment, had uh, the bright green color. If anyone's seen the other video, I'll put a card for you to watch that. But it's not uncommon to see the kind of brighter colors in the apartment. So yeah, someone mentioned on the other video too, there wasn't a cooktop, but there's one built in right here. They're very hard to see. These are the induction ones. So it's basically like a glass panel kind of cooktop. And the normal oven, and then there's the extractor fan right there that kind of goes into the wall space and ceiling. And then big double fridge right here, which is not so common in Russia. Most people have a more normal traditional size one, but this one is very nice. This has got the uh, ice and water machine right there too. And then coming out to the other balcony right here. So this has actually been fully finished. So you can actually sit out here nicely if you wanted to. And check out the view again beautiful view now this just down in front right here this is actually uh, private parking that you can actually pay monthly for there is plenty of street parking around this apartment so it's not a problem if you want to just to find somewhere to park and the church is right there it's about maybe five or seven minute walk and then if I can point out just over here that's the shopping center there and the train station of Prelivka, which would then go straight into Moscow. If you took the train from here about 35 minutes, you'd be at Kiev railway station or Kiev Kibaksal. Typically with a lot of the uh, balconies in Russia, it's storage, very, very normal. Now I did get a comment as well in one of the other videos about how do you do your clothes drying? So these are built in here, they're on a string so you basically release the strings, the poles come down and you put your stuff for drying and then you just basically put the window open a couple of notches right here. Now the nice thing with this apartment too, which we don't have in our apartment, I don't know how to, oh, there it is. They've actually got uh, fly screen windows here. Now these may seem strange to some people, but not to others, but in summertime, it gets very warm here and the flies, tend to become a little bit of a problem. No problem with mosquitoes, but the flies. So yeah, you can see plenty of open space in a Prelivka. It's a little bit of uh, industrial area, but it's not really a bother, but more storage on the balcony. Nice coffee machine too. 
So yeah, there's plugs here. You can put just basically an extension of the kitchen. So yeah, and then in winter as well, this is heated floors. So uh, if anyone's worried it gets cold, I didn't actually mention that there's actually the central heating all throughout the place as well. But yeah, very nice kitchen. My wife would be very jealous of this kitchen, especially when we compare it to the place we moved out of and how much uh, nicer this is sort of set up. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go for a walk back outside and then I'm gonna talk about the price because this is obviously for sale and I'll let you know what the price is and I'll show you it in different currencies. So yeah, what do you think so far? Do you like the place? You know, it's uh, definitely very livable, especially for a family, maybe with a daughter or a son. Big playroom here if you wanna do it like that. In Russia, it's very normal too that the kitchen, a lot of people like to sit in the kitchen versus sitting in the lounge room. And the kitchen, obviously you cook, you have something to drink, friends come over, you always go in the kitchen. So yeah, let's head on outside. I just noticed as well, all these little extra features in this apartment here. They've got this uh, thing for cleaning your shoes. Has anyone got one of those? Let me know in the comments. I've not seen one of them in any other apartments I've been to, but this one right here, let's head on outside. Okay, so we're back downstairs now on the street level. And there's the building from the front. Still a beautiful day outside. It's a little bit later now. We actually uh, stopped for a few minutes to talk to the owner after I finished filming. So just want to show you some of the things that are in this building. In the lower level of the building, it's quite a few businesses. So if you were to live here, there's quite a lot of things to do nearby. So right in front of me here is a gym. So this is actually quite a fairly big gym. It's kind of taken up kind of two of these uh, underground spaces here. Uh, my wife actually goes to this gym. We actually live in this same building. We live at the other end of the building. Uh, if you've watched the video, maybe you kind of caught on to that, maybe not. But this place that we just went to is for sale. It's currently listed. Now there is a salon here and there's also a phone repair guy in the same place. So there's actually a nail salon, a hairdressers and a massage place I guess you could call it and then one of the rooms in there is also fixing phones uh, computers and things like that uh, just behind this Christmas tree is another salon right there and then down here is Krasnabile or red and white it's called and this is actually a well it originally was a beer shop alcohol shop it actually has even some snacks some food some chips chocolate tea it's kind of a bit of a convenience store, but it's kind of really handy to have in the same building. Now, originally here, going back a few months ago, there was actually a meat shop here uh, where it says Ozon. Now, Ozon is actually an online shopping portal where you can basically shop online, similar to Amazon, similar to eBay, but you actually have it delivered to the building here. You don't have it delivered to your own address. And then you can pick things up from these pickup points it's really handy. I might do a separate video. If you want to do me to do a separate video, let me know in the comments. There's another one next door. This is Wild Berries, which is probably the more famous one of all of them here. So you can go inside. Uh, generally, when you order something online, you get notified that it's ready for pickup. You go inside, you show them the QR code of the item, and then you can actually try something on. If it's clothes, if you don't like it, you can give it right back, and you're not charged for the item. You're only basically charged when you pick it up. Uh, there's another salon here on the left hand side a lot of salons there's a lot of ladies in russia so salons are very popular you'd sort of think there's a few too many of them but there's not now there is a few more buildings ahead of us here if you walk five minutes to the end of the street you can catch the bus that takes you to the nearest metro station which is about a 20 minute bus ride away depending on the traffic now this is Fasol, which is actually a supermarket. Now we're still in the same building, keep in mind. Uh, this is open every day. I believe it's 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day, this Fasol. And it's an underground kind of supermarket. It's actually somewhere between a mini mart and a supermarket, but it's got everything you need. Uh, we shop here quite a lot because it's sort of super convenient from where we live. We're literally at this end of the building. And then you just come downstairs to the supermarket, especially in winter as well, where you don't want to walk too far. 
you can just do all your shopping right here. Now I know this is a bit of an extended video, but I really wanted to give an in-depth kind of tour of the apartment and show you all the infrastructure nearby the building. So I hope that's okay. Some people kind of really love these videos and have been requested. Film more of them, film more of them. So here's another one for you. Actually from here you get a nice view of the building and again it's a 14 level building and we were up on the top left hand side of the 13th level so you had that view kind of that direction and then back this direction towards the town behind me. Right in front of you here is actually the entrance to that private parking and then there's also a, a tire repair place and there's a shawarma shop so if you want to get some food uh, they do shawarmas and some shashlik which is basically like barbecued meat and then you can get your tires fixed at the same time. Okay after a nice walk around the building we kept to see all the different shops and services right there and I just thought for a minute we'll talk about the price because obviously this apartment was for sale. Uh, I do want to thank the uh, real estate agent that allowed me to get access to this place. Uh, it was only for a short time but uh, it worked out good that we could uh, make the video. Now the price uh, at the moment as it is, is 10.2 million rubles. Now if you're not from Russia, 10 million is a big number, right? But I'm going to put up for you on the side of the screen here the exchange rate into a few different currencies. I think I'll do it in dollars, euros, uh, and Australian dollars because I'm from Australia. So you can get an idea of the place. So just remember a few things about it. It's 70 square meters. It's what's considered a two room apartment, uh, but basically one bedroom and then a lounge room. We saw the kitchen, the two separate bathrooms, loads of storage. Uh, I feel like I'm trying to sell the place. I'm not a real estate agent. Uh, I just had an opportunity to film another apartment in the same building where I live. Literally, again, I live right in that same building, uh, not uh, where we were, but in another part of the building. So also on the same 13th level. So are you superstitious? Let me know in the comments if 13 bothers you or not. Um, and also let me know what you think about the price comparing to where you live. Uh, 10.2 million rubles, uh, 70 square meters. I think the, the price uh, and the size of the apartment and the location, being that you're only about a 45 minute drive into Moscow on the highway right here. That highway is literally just down the street. Uh, you can also get the bus. Uh, or the train into Moscow as well, which is fairly close. There is a local school about a 10 minute walk away. Actually, the hospital is not even five minutes walk from here. So there's a lot uh, of things right where we are here. Although some people may be a bit distracted by the big apartment buildings. Uh, I think it's, it's a great apartment. You know, I like that balcony. I like the view. I like that uh, desk there uh, with the window overlooking the town. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching uh, Traveling with Russell. I do hope you like this video. Again, let me know in the comments if you want to see more like this. Uh, it's really just a matter of finding real estate agents with listings uh, that I can get a kind of chance to walk through. Uh, the link for this apartment will be in the description of the video. I'll also pin it in the comments. So if you do want to look it up yourself, um, I'd, there's no, nothing coming back to me if we sell it or they sell it or the owners sell it but uh, it was just sort of easy to go and see because it's in the same building where we live. So thanks everybody. Thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, I guess thumbs down. There's always gonna be thumbs down in every video, no matter what I film. I guess in this one, it'll be bricks up or bricks down. Uh, in the video at Rustic, it was uh, chicken legs up. So thanks everybody. I put another video for you to watch right after this one. Maybe you can watch a different apartment tour video that I've done. You can check that out right after this one's finished. Maybe you haven't seen it before. Uh, thanks everybody for being a subscriber. Also channel members. There's a lot of you now who are channel members. Thank you so much for being a part of Traveling with Russell. I'm off on another adventure. Actually, I live right here, so I'm off home now for dinner. So thanks everybody. Bye.